Hello, I'm Sheriff, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot and import a third party certificate into AWS Certificate Manager. Let's get started. Let's talk about the following scenarios where you try to import a third party SSL or TLS certificate into ACM but received an error message similar to one of the following. You have reached the maximum number of certificates, delete certificates that are not in use, or contact AWS support to request an increase. The certificate field contains more than one certificate. You can specify only one certificate in this field. Unable to validate certificate chain. The certificate chain must start with the immediate sign-in certificate followed by any intermediaries in that order. The index within the chain of the invalid certificates is zero. Cannot validate the certificate with the certificate chain. The private key length is not supported for the key algorithm. The certificate body provided is not in a valid PEM format. Internal failure or unable to pass certificates. Be sure that the certificate is in PEM format. The private key is not supported. The certificate is not a valid self-signed certificate. Before uploading your SSL or TLS certificate into ACM, you must verify that the certificate the private key and the certificate chain are in PEM encoded formats. If the certificate bundle provided by the certificate authority or the self-signed certificate is in a different format, then you must convert these files into a PEM encoded format. Also, as shown on screen, ACM supports the following cryptographic algorithm and key sizes. You must verify that the certificate and private key are supported using the following commands. You have reached the maximum number of certificates. Delete certificates that are not in use or contact AWS support to request an increase. The total number of certificates that you can import into ACM has a default value of 2500 and the number of certificates you can import in a given year is twice the number of imported certificates which includes certificates that you imported and deleted in the last 365 days. If you experience this error message and you have not exceeded 2,500 certificates for your account, then you might have exceeded the limits for certificates that you can import in a year. You can request an increase from the service quota console. From the AWS management console, navigate to the service quotas console. In the left navigation pane, select AWS Services and search for the AWS Certificates Manager Service. The AWS default quota value shows the current maximum number of imported certificates that you can have within your account. The number of imported certificates that you can have over the past 365 days is twice the number of imported certificates. Now, if you want to request an increase for imported certificates, Select Imported Certificates and then select the Request Quotas. Next, enter the new value and submit. After submitting the request, you will see that the quota increase is successfully requested. The certificate field contains more than one certificate. You can only specify one certificate in this field. Unable to validate certificate chain, the chain must start with the immediate signing certificate followed by any intermediaries in that order. The index within this chain of the invalid certificate is zero, could not validate the certificates with the certificate chain. If you encounter these errors, then you either uploaded the certificate chain instead of the certificate in the certificate body section or the certificate chain contains more than just the intermediate certificates and root certificates. You must be sure that the certificates included in the certificate chain are in the right order from the intermediate certificates generated by the certificate authority to the certificate authority's root certificates to maintain the certificate chain of trust. Otherwise, the SSL certificates will not be trusted by some applications browsers and more. 
When importing a certificate using the AWS CLI, note that you must pass the contents of your certificate files to the parameters of the CLI with the prefix as shown on screen. Otherwise, you might receive the following error messages such as the private key is not supported, the certificate is not valid, or invalid base 64. If ACM can't map the certificate to the certificate chain provided, then you must confirm that the certificate chain is associated with your certificate by validating that the issuer hash of the certificate matches the subject's hash of the certificate chain using OpenSSL command. Provided certificate is not a valid self-signed certificate, please provide either a valid self-signed certificate or a certificate chain. ACM requires that you provide the domain certificate and its private key for self-signed certificates. You must provide the certificates chain if the certificate is signed by Certificate Authority or CA. To review this scenario where you experience this issue, I will be uploading a certificate signed by a CA along with its corresponding private key. To resolve these error messages, you must paste the contents of these files in the required text box using the ACM console. N navigate to the ACM console. Choose Import a Certificate. Copy the contents of this certificate, certificate chain, and private key. You can add a tag key. Review the certificate information. When this is done, you will see the certificate ID. You can view the metadata of the imported certificate. Now, by using the CLI, you can import the certificate files using the command as shown on screen. The expected output will be the certificate ARN, which shows that the certificate was uploaded successfully into ACM. So now you know how you can troubleshoot and import a third party certificate into AWS Certificate Manager. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.